Hello, this is Frank with Frank's Beautiful Rocks and Minerals. To see my collection of beautiful rocks and minerals, which I have prospected from across the United States and other countries, type in on YouTube, Rock and Mineral Identification, followed by my name, Frank Riser, space capital M period, capital S period. Riser is spelled R-E-I-S-E-R. I encourage you to watch my videos on geology and rock and mineral prospecting and get out there into the field yourself and prospect for some beautiful rocks and minerals. You can support my channel on Patreon so that I might buy materials to bring you more fascinating demonstrations in science. On Patreon, simply type in my name, Frank Riser, M period, S period, and I appreciate your financial support. Today's demonstration is on biology. We're going to look at the beautiful moss plant. Mosses are herbaceous, they're not woody like trees, small delicate plants that grow in damp and moist and damp and shady locations. Let's take a look at some moss. Here's some, here's some moss that I collected at the park today. You can see how delicate of a little plant it is. Let's look at it under the stereo microscope. And here's the moss. Mosses are of the family Bryophyta. They're bryophytes. They're small, non-vascular, non-woody, or herbaceous, flowerless plants. Often, their leaves are only one cell thick. Mosses do not have seeds, and after fertilization, develop sporophytes with unbranched stalks topped with single capsules containing spores, which are going to look that through the microscope in a minute. They are dense green clumps in damp and shady locations. They have haploid gametophyte generation as the dominant phase of their life cycle. What does that mean? Haploid means having half of the chromosomes of an adult plant, which is diploid. And gametophyte is the sexual cell forming body of a plant with alternation of generation as the life cycle. Alternation of generations is a plant that alternates between a sexual phase of its life cycle and an asexual phase. The sexual phase produces gametes, or sex cells, and the asexual phase produces spores and is known as the sporophyte. Spores are bodies which develop into mature plants without needing to undergo fertilization as what is required during the sexual phase. Mosses absorb water and gases, such as carbon dioxide for photosynthesis, and release oxygen from photosynthesis to the outer cells of their leaves. Mosses do not have roots, but have instead something called rhizoids, which anchor them to the ground. Unlike roots, rhizoids do not absorb water or nutrients. The spore-forming sporophyte, for example, the diploid multicellular generation, are short-lived and dependent on the gametophyte for water supply and nutrition. Let's look at the beautiful moss plant under high power. This is high power under the stereo microscope. We still, even at high power, cannot discern the leaves. We can sort of see the leaves, and we see some of the sporophytes, which are the brown tips. And 
There's a Sporo fight. There's some leaves. You can just make out the leaves. Let's look at the mature sporophyte body under the mi microscope. The biological microscope magnifies to a greater degree. It is under greater magnification that we can actually see the spores in the sporophyte. And here it is. This is a mature sporophyte. But we don't see the spores yet. This is the body. And here are the spores. Now we will zoom in under high magnification to observe the spores. We're right now at 430 times. I mean, we were at 100 times. Now we are at 430 times. And we can just make out the spores. They're the spores. The, the as, asexual spores, which grow individually, each little tiny spore there that you can still barely see under high magnification, will grow into a mature moss plant. In the gametophyte stage, the gamete actually waits on the gametophyte plant until rain because it is in rain that the gametophyte releases a gamete and the gamete swims over to a sporophyte which what we are observing under the microscope right now is from the gamete will then in the sexual stage unite with the haploid sporophyte and produce a diploid spore. Let's look at it under the low power and get a gist of the rest of the sporo fight. And here we see the rest of the body. We can see the cells if we switch back to high power. And there are the cells. Here we can see the cells that are attached to the end of the plant. 
Each cell releases oxygen from the process of photosynthesis into the surrounding atmosphere and absorbs carbon dioxide from the atmosphere for the process of photosynthesis. Water is also taken into the plant. And this is Frank with Frank's Beautiful Rocks and Minerals, always reminding you in order to find those beautiful rocks and minerals to keep looking down.